Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jody. On this channel, we discuss luxury and locks. In today's videos, we're talking about Christian Louboutin No Before You Buy. I'm going to show you my collection of five Christian Louboutin heels, and I will give you everything you need to know kind of like a buying guide for these shoes. We do know that Mr. Louboutin has said his shoes are not for comfort, they are for sex appeal. And I mean, I can agree with that to some extent. I am a shoe girl, I have a lot of jewelry, I have a lot of bags, but I swear, shoes are my thing, like I love. When you put on an outfit, you'll look good, right? You'll be cute. But when you put the shoes on, it just changes everything. And that's what he said. He said the right shoes give a woman a certain sass and a certain attitude that nothing else will do. Christian Louboutin opened his first store in Paris when he was only 19 years old. There are now 80 stores worldwide. His infamous red soles were made popular by Sex in the City. You probably remember the scene when Carrie saw those really pretty shoes and she said, oh my lover. So I put chapters in this video so if there's a particular shoe you want to see you can skip ahead to that chapter or if you'd like to review another shoe multiple times then you can select that chapter and keep repeating it, okay? So this is the Kate 100 millimeters, unlike the Socate, that is 120 millimeters. Let me tell you that 20 millimeters makes a humongous difference. I live in Atlanta and I am close to a Christian Louboutin store. That is where I bought all of mine. And I tried on the Socate in there. I was literally standing upright. Like your arch is straight up, falling on my face, tipping over. And I was like, oh, hell. Hell no. So I got the Kate, love the Kate, recommend the Kate. So my Kate is a nude one, which is the palest nude. Cute story, Christian Louboutin was making new shoes and one of his employees, every time he used the term flesh colored or said nude, his employee would sigh. At the end of it, he said, why are you sighing so much? every time I say flesh colored and she says well you say flesh colored and this is what you're talking about but look at me and he said you know what you are right and you know what he did guys I said I wasn't buying anything else for the rest of the year because I'm like happy with where everything is but oh look at these he made the nude five and the nude eight and aren't they stunning like we have brown girl nude Louboutins, guys. Like lubies for brown girls. Like they are so pretty. The Kate is made out of Napa leather, seven hundred seventy-five for the retail price. And uh, now I'm going crazy for the nude five, nude eight. I want to go to the store and try them on because that is just a staple in any brown girl's closet. And I'm just gonna need me a pair. Anyway, I got my Kate in size 38, which is my true shoe size. They do fit sh true to size, and I would recommend for the pumps to get your true size because if you go too big, they're going to be flipping off of your foot, and you don't want that to happen. You want your pump to be secure so that you can walk confidently and not worry about the pump slipping. I've had these for a long enough time. I'm showing you pictures throughout of when I've worn them. On a scale of comfort, I will give them like a 7. They're not horrible. They're not painful. The leather is actually really soft, so when your toes are up here, they're not cramped, they're not hurting, and uh, the height of the heel is very decent for what a pump is supposed to be. And so yeah, I, I love the Kate. The Kate works out really well. Of course, the bottoms are going to wear, so don't even stress about that. I'm going to show you another pair in a second that I have had redone. But this part obviously stays intact. So as you're walking, this is what people see. And it's always going to be pretty. It's just, you know, down here that will get scuffed. In terms of the shoe overall, I would say I learned my lesson with one pair. And now I know, like, on the designer shoe scale, I would say Christian Louboutins are a little bit on the fragile side. Um, they are the shoes that you need to take care of. 
that you want to be wearing when you're not going anywhere where the ground is going to be unstable or too rough or whatever because these shoes will get scratched they'll get scuffed they will show wear so they're on the fragile side so you want to take care of them you want to wear them to dinner or when the floor is going to be carpeted or whatever you don't really want to be running on sidewalks in Christian Louboutin shoes right they're not really made for that they're very dainty they're very Cinderella but anyway I recommend the Kate they're super cute let's move on to shoe number two hey guys Christian Louboutin shoe number two this is the Cornell retails for $7.45 mine is in the size 38.5 it was just more comfortable for me as a 38.5 when I tried it on in the store that's the other thing. You can't always trust the sizes with Louboutins. If ever you can try them on, do so. If you cannot, size up a half, okay? Anyway, my Cornell is 38.5. It is a classic black pump, red bottoms. I feel like this is a... When I think of Christian Louboutin, this is what I think of. The black on red. So if you're thinking of getting a pair, either get a nude or a black. But honestly, the black is an icon. Anyways, guys, here's what's different with the Cornell. The toe area has a little slant to it. And you remember how I said I rate the Kate like a 7 in terms of comfort? I'm going to go ahead and give the Cornell like a 9, maybe even a 9.5. These are some comfortable pumps, and I know they are Louboutins, but let me tell you, the slant effect at the toe gives your toes so much more room allows your arch to sit so much more comfortably and this is an all-nighter shoe you can pull off a whole night in this shoe so this is a Cornell highly recommend I haven't seen the Cornell in nude I've only seen them in black this shoe is great it is in patent leather so you're gonna see that they're much like shinier and 100 millimeter heel heights again I have found that to be where my comfort lies in terms of Louboutins. I've also had my Cornells for a while, going on two years, and they have worn very well. They have not um, scuffed up too much. Actually, they're in practically perfect condition, and they're super pretty. Highly, highly recommend the Cornell. Christian Louboutin, shoe number three, the Jonatina. All right, guys. These Jonatinas are $7.95 retail price, also made out of Napple leather. Mine are size 38. They do fit true to size. This is like a nude and transparent heel. They also come in black. I rate these, honestly. I wouldn't buy them again. That's the truth. Here's why. Here's why. They are exceptionally fragile. I know I said lubes are fragile overall. These, okay, so I've actually had these repaired. I had to get the bottoms redone. Um, I'm here in Atlanta. Santana's Creative does redo soles of shoes. I'll put their information in the description box. So I've redone the bottom. That wasn't the problem. You'll see, even though I've had them repaired, the heels are still kind of scuffed. And uh, they are a little bit unsturdy. So when you're walking in them, the heel almost feels like it's shaken. You're not very secure to the ground, and I don't like that. In terms of looks, they're very aesthetic. They're very, very pretty. I mean, I've worn them several times. I'm showing you pictures here of when I've worn them. I've worn them at least two dozen or more times. And they are a gorgeous pair of heels, but they're not sturdy and they're super fragile and therefore I don't recommend buying them I wouldn't buy them again so anyways I already have them and I've enjoyed wearing them many many times and for that reason they will stay in my collection but after having experienced shoes like the Tom Ford naked sandals which I've done another video on and seen how strong and sturdy those are sorry Jonathina you are not it for me. Alright guys, shoe number four. This is the Peepto Slingback. Now, I haven't been able to find these on the website anymore, but I'm seeing something called the Gen Love Alta. I've put the link in the description. It is the most similar that I've seen. I don't think they're probably making these anymore, and I would say that's a good thing. 
all right here's <laughs> here's what um these are size 38.5 you always want to size up on a peep toe because your toes don't get to go as far forward and you will need the extra room so there are 38.5 sized up a half um love the platform these are actually um 120 millimeters on the heel height so the same height as the socate but because it has a stacked um what do you call this because it's uh because it has a platform, it reduces the pitch of the shoe and therefore it doesn't feel like a 120. They're still super comfortable to walk in. They are very durable. They are well made. Um, no issues with that. I've never re replaced like the tips of them or anything. The only shoe I've replaced the tips for was a Jonah Teen. I told you how fragile those are. Um, but the problem with these shoes is... Because they're a higher heel and because they are peep toe, your toes will thrust forward like they will fight to come through here and then the shoe will be pressing into your toes and it is the most uncomfortable feeling. Unless you're walking on completely flat ground, which I'm sure you won't, most surfaces will have some kind of a slope or something, you're going to feel yourself falling through the toe portion and your feet are going to hurt so bad. These are painful shoes. Painful, painful, painful shoes. Now, they are pretty and the higher heel height makes for more length in the back where you can stay from afar or even close up and enjoy seeing the red soles. It's so, so pretty. Also love that there's some red in the front where the peep toe is. So in terms of aesthetics, exceptionally gorgeous. And that is true for Christian Louboutin, right? That is a trend. They are pretty. Other than that, I would rate these at like a four, guys. Like they're bad. They hurt. These are the shoes that make you want to cry and take your shoes off and walk barefoot down the street, you know? Those shoes. All right, friends, this is shoe number five. This is the Christian Louboutin Sandal du Desert. They retail for $10.75. I've bought mine in size 38.5. When I tried them on at the store, the half size up was very good because it has a strap going across here. So it was more comfortable. Guys, I love these shoes. Um, so I think the Cornell is at the top. So of the five I've shown you, the Cornell is number one. That's a black pump followed by this pair. However, I have not worn these. Shit, I've only worn these once. Ooh. <laughs> They're just such a happy shoe that, honestly, it's not the shoe you're going to put on all the time or that you're going to just wear just because. I really need to wear them more often before the season is up. But anyways, exceptionally well made. This is the strongest pair of Louboutins that I own and of what I've ever seen. No scuffs or anything. I mean, they've only been worn once, but I can tell from like how it feels and how it wears that this is a very, very, very strong shoe. Like it's practically brand new and the fabrics and everything used. This is not a fragile shoe. This is not a dainty shoe. This is not a Cinderella shoe. This is a shoe you can wear and run in and have fun in and not stress and not worry about it. These are excellent. Um, this is like satin fabric that does a tie. You can tie to the front or tie to the back. And it has a color blocked heel, nice and thick. Also has a platform in the front, which reduces the pitch of the shoe. So they're very, very comfortable to walk in. They are 130 millimeter heel height, but honestly, you cannot feel it. This feels like you're wearing flats, I swear. This is the most comfortable Christian Louboutin sandal ever made, okay? This shoe, the Christian Louboutin sandal du dessert, takes the cake for comfortable Christian Louboutin if there ever was such a thing. So, let's go back through our five pairs of shoes. Love, love, love the Cornell. Highly recommend, absolutely get them. I also love the Kate, guys. It's just that the Cornell's design is a lot more comfortable than the Kate. But I love the Kate too. I've worn them many times because they are so versatile. And I would definitely get them in the brown. I want to go and get them in the nude 5 or the nude 8. So love them. Do not get the Jonatina. They're very sexy, but they're very, very fragile. And 
do not get the peep toe slingbacks just because they hurt like hell. And if you have space in your wardrobe to add some fun, definitely get these. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I do a lot of videos like this. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking. Did you have any favorites? Do you have anything to add? Did I miss anything? See you, friends, in another video.